the other day I was talking about my ipsy ex to my boyfriend God bless his soul, he was confused and he thought I was buying an actual Xbox, like the gaming console Xbox, and he was just like, when or why? <laughs> He's like, when did you buy an Xbox? Why did you buy an Xbox? And I was like, no, 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 not that Xbox, like, like my Ipsy Xbox. And he's like, oh, <laughs> well, I did buy an Xbox, but it's the Ipsy Xbox, not the actual Xbox. It's Ipsy X Choice Day, Ipsy X Choice Day, Ipsy X Choice Day. We're gonna talk about the products that Ipsy chose for me. We're gonna talk about the products I chose. So if you wanna know what I'm getting in my Ipsy X this month, then just keep on watching. So as we know, the August Ipsy X curator was Alicia Keys, and Miss Keys did not disappoint me with this bag, and I am so happy she didn't. Let's talk about the products that Ipsy chose for me. The first product that I have here, unfortunately, is the Benefit Cosmetics Their Real Magnet Extreme Lengthening Mascara in Supercharged Black. And this has a value of $27, and it's a teching mascara that uses magnetic power to create your longest lashes ever. My only complaint with this product is that it's not cruelty free. If Benefit was cruelty free, which they claim they are, but they are not, unfortunately. I am receiving this, but I feel like I will give it away in a giveaway or something. I don't know. A lot of people don't really mind, so I feel like if I put it in my 400 subscriber giveaway, which is coming soon, I think someone would enjoy it. The next product that Ipsy chose for me is the Grown Alchemist Hydro Repair Day Cream. This retails for $49. The magic behind this day cream moisturizer sounds like a bouquet. Ooh, this might smell so bad. I have a feeling this is gonna smell like a bouquet, not sound like a bouquet. <laughs> and I have been breaking out recently, like everywhere. My skin has just not been my friend recently. So I don't know if I'm gonna be using this on my face. It depends on how it smells, to be honest. If it's lightly fragranced, maybe. But I've heard that Grown Alchemist stuff has fragrance. So, I don't know. It does say this is cruelty-free vegan, and I did actually search it up just in case. And it is cruelty-free, so I can actually use this product. I feel like by any chance, I do not like it on my face. Maybe I can use it as a nice hand cream or a cream anywhere else. It's... It's a cream. And that's a very hefty price tag for a cream also. The next product Ipsy chose for me, I'm actually quite excited to receive. It's the Key Soul Care Reviving Aura Mist. It retails for $25 and it's kind of like a toner spray. This mist rebalances your complexion, hydrates your skin, and helps renew your skin's appearance after cleansing by adding a weightless layer of skin-loving hydration. Witch Hazel and Rose of Herigo, a Mexican resurrection plant that helps rejuvenate the look of dull, dry skin. Brits freely whenever you need to rebalance your skin and lift your spirit. So actually, the place I work, we actually sell Herigo flowers, and they are the most dusty things ever, but that's besides the point. <laughs> This is vegan cruelty free. It's from Alicia Keys' actual brand, and I'm just really excited. I haven't been haven't been scooted over. What is wrong with me? I'm happy that I'm getting one key soul care item in this box. Hopefully the box doesn't disappoint me. The next product that Ipsy chose for me was the Lawless, the Baby One eyeshadow palette. Never tried anything from Lawless, so this is exciting for me. This palette is inspired by any Lawless's personal journey to motherhood with a color story that was created from the feelings of romance, love, and femininity. The balance of browns, rich rose, crimson, and plummy tones complements any skin tone and eye color to gorgeously enhance natural beauty. I mean, the shades in this palette seem absolutely stunning, and I've been loving those peachy pinky kind of shades recently, so I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy that. The next product that Ipsy chose 
for me is the Truly Beauty Unicorn CBD Whipped Body Polish. This retails for $35. This body scrub has the same mouth-watering sweet scent and bouncy whipped texture as the OG Unicorn Butter, but with a ton of skin smoothing benefits. It's all thanks to the antioxidant-rich superfoods, vegan collagen, and hemp to help give skin a luminous and smooth glassy feel. In the shower or bath, massage a handful body polish onto your damp skin in small circles. Let sit for a couple minutes to boost hydration, then rinse clean. Wow, I'm excited for this. Uh, I've never tried anything from Truly. I feel like I haven't tried anything from this box, which is fantastic for me. I'm excited. I'm hoping that, you know, it's nice. And it smells good because it looks like it would smell delicious. It's like a whipped body scrub. And I'm just, I want to know how it feels. Well, I want to know how it feels. So moving on to the actual choice items. Let's get into that because I feel like that's what we're here for. From the first list of products, I was able to pick the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinal Eye Sleeping Mask. The One Size Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation. The Keys Soul Care Promise Facial Serum. The Juice Beauty Green Apple Brightening Gel Cleanser. The Dr. Zenovia 5% Benzyl Peroxide Acne Spot Treatment. And the Sunday Riley Clean Rinse Clarifying Scalp Serum. Everything here was quite interesting. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to front. Everything here was quite interesting. I do believe I chose the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinal Eye Sleeping Mask in my BoxyCharm, but I could be wrong. It's an eye cream. It's the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinal Eye Cream, whereas this one is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinal Eye Sleeping Mask. I don't really know if there's a huge difference, but I chose an eye cream with retinol, hopefully to help my eye wrinkles just a tad. But whenever using retinol, you want to make sure you pile up the sunscreen just in case. Well, yeah, I, I canceled out that product because I already I was already receiving something very similar in my boxy charm, so I didn't want to get that. And then I have the Key Soul Care Promise Facial Serum, and Ipsy's always giving me serums. I have I'm using a ton of them right now. I'm trying to go through them, so I I didn't want to choose this item in particular. I don't know why I'm so choppy. And then the Dr. Zenovia Acne Spot Treatment. I'm breaking out right, right now, but usually I don't really have that many breakouts to the point where I need an acne spot serum. So I canceled that out of my choice as well. Honestly, I probably could use the Sunday Riley Clean Rinse Clarifying Scalp Serum because my scalp sometimes suffers like very hard. But I want to find something a little more affordable because I can't afford to repurchase this and then the juice beauty green apple brightening gel cleanser was a contender only because it just sounds good and i've heard really good things about it so i was really really interested in it but they put it alongside the one size turn up the base versatile powder foundation and i couldn't pass up the option to choose that so i i chose that I'm just hoping that the shade match is, is my match. It looks like it will be, but it always kind of looks like it will be. And then I get it and then it's not. So if it's not my shade, I'm going to really regret my choice in choosing this. And I really wish I would have chosen the Juice Beauty. But if it's my shade, then I'm happy. The second product choice options. I have the Live Tinted Hue Stick Multi Stick in Perk. I have the Wishful Yo Glow Facial Enzyme Scrub. I have the Pericone MD Vitamin C Ester Citrus Brightening Cleanser. I have the LaRousse Beauty The Christine Set, which is a set of brushes. I have the Patrick Ta Major Glow Softening Lip Mask. And then I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I have a drop of this in here, okay? I have a drop of it and I've been saving it because I just, it's so good. It's one of those products that you just, you want to spend the money on it because it just works so well and it makes my skin look incredibly glowy. The niacinamide in there works very good for my skin and my skin actually really enjoys this serum. They fucked up when they put that in there, you know? They fucked up when they put that option with these because none of them stood a chance. I've already tried it. I know what it works and I know it 
it's amazing. So like the other things just couldn't win. I was also interested in the Liv Tinted Hue Stick, but I just don't color correct enough for that. Like, and the Patrick Ta, I don't have a single Patrick Ta product, so that obviously caught my eye. I just had to go with the Glow Recipe, you know? It's just, I had to. It's my favorite. And I'm like running out, and it's the perfect time to re-up, you know? I know I didn't spend $64 for no reason, you know? I'm kind of really happy that that was an option to choose in here. For my third choice options, I have the Wishful Thirst Trap Juice HA3 Peptide Serum, the Keys Soul Care Harmony Mask, the Bubble Bar June Bracelet Set, the Tula Skincare 24-7 Power Swipe Hydrating Day and Night Eye Balm, the Too Faced Cosmetics Lip Injection in Extreme Lip Plumper in Original, and the Complex Culture Filter Out Daily Blue Light Defense Mist. So since I've already gotten a mist, I canceled out the mist, you know? I hate lip plumpers. I used to like them when I was in high school because all my friends liked them, but like I just don't, I just don't like them. So I, I canceled that out as well. The mask was quite interesting, but um, I have no Tula products, you know? I don't mask enough and I have masks that I have to use but I don't mask enough so I don't really use them. The Bubble Bar June bracelet set was honestly an option for me because I know Bubble Bar is a very nice jewelry brand and I, I've been trying to kind of accessorize more even though my jewelry right now doesn't really match. I have a frog and I have Spider-Man earrings like let me know how that matches. It doesn't. And then again with the serum, I just don't need another serum so that was already cancelled out for me. But I've also never tried anything from Wishful so obviously from all of the choices here, I chose the Tula Skin Hydrating Day and Night Treatment Eye Balm. It has a value of $38 and it's a solid eye cream stick. It says that it can pretty much tackle any under eye issue you can think of. It has squalene, caffeine, apple, watermelon, cocoa seed, peptides, collagen, and it just sounded like something I would love. Who knows? Maybe I'm not gonna love it, but I just, my eyes are always dry and I'm trying to find the best solution. So this says it can help. That liter that line literally got me. It was like, it can pretty much tackle any under eye issue you can think of. And I was like, sold. <laughs> You're my choice now. I'm actually really excited, even though I'm getting that one product that I don't really want, but it's fine. Cause I was just gonna throw it into a giveaway for you guys. Products I'm most excited for would have to be the Key Soul Care product, the palette, the Truly, the one size. I know the Glow Recipe is good, but the Tula is definitely one I'm so excited to try. So those five products, I already know one is going to be amazing. So the five products I'm excited for. And I hope you're as excited as I am. We're going to get some good stuff. And I hope you get some good stuff. And yeah, that is my box. My first Ipsy Xbox. Earlier this morning, I was a little disappointed because I really wanted the cheek and lip palette from Danessa Myricks. I also wanted the Ofra palette. That was also an option going around. So let me know what you got in your box and how you feel about your options. And that is it from me. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Ipsy videos from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! I'm so excited. It's Ipsy X Day. It's Ipsy X Day. It's Ipsy X Choice Day, not Ipsy X Day. <laughs> All right, so as we know, the August Glam Bag X Cure. Cur <laughs> oh God, I see what type of day it's gonna be. <laughs> the magic blend behind this day. I can't, I can't speak. The magic blend, as if it's light fragrance, I really enjoy that I'm getting at least one key soul care brand item. Really excited to see what this eyeshadow brush has in store. Peak. I also kind of feel like a loser. <laughs> okay. It looks like it'll smell delicious. It's like a whipped body cream. Period. You know? I'm happy with it. Thing.
I wish I knew the rest of the name. <laughs>